Hello everyone and welcome back again. Uh, in the previous session, we start calculating the, uh, we start drawing the network diagram for the, this example, the second example, we have a list of activities, the duration, and we have the predecessor of each activity. In this example, we have seen that we have different types of relationship between the activities. In the, in the first one here, that we had only one type of relationship, which is finish to start. This is the basic one, the most simple one. And we already done with this example. And in the second example, we had different types of relationship and we draw the network diagram. We have learned how to draw it if we have different types of relationship. So this question, this table, the sub activities, duration, predecessor with different type of relationship. We have drawn it, it already here. And the question was to determine the critical activities and to calculate the earliest and the latest time and get the total project duration. So after I draw this network diagram that we have, uh, we went through step by step. This is the final network diagram. And this is also the final this one is the same. So today we'll start calculating the earliest time. So the, the earliest time is the one we move, we calculate when we move forward. And it's becoming clear here and familiar for all of you that we go from left to right to calculate the earliest time. So each activity is represented by box. The name of activity here, here is the duration. This is early start, early finish, late start and late finish. And we start calculating the earliest time when we move forward. So when we move forward, this is the hint uh, that we always always use. We need to have keep adding plus plus and we look on the head of the arrows in order to know how many options do we have. And if we have more than one option, we calculate for all of them and select the highest value. So it's becoming clear we have we, we, we have done many calculation using this hint. So we start from here, zero, zero plus zero will have zero. Here, activity A, we look on the heads because we are moving forward. So when you look on the head, in order to determine how many options do we have, we only have one head. It means we only have one option coming from here. So we just transfer the zero here. Zero plus seven would be seven. Here, how many options do we have for activity D? We have only one head, so it means only one option, so we just transfer the zero here. The same goes for activity B, we only have one option coming from this direction. Uh, so zero plus 10 would be zero, 10, zero plus five would be five. Okay, we come here, activity C. We look on the heads of the arrows. How many heads do we have? We have only one head. It means we only have one option. Uh, for this one is linked with the start to start plus three. Normally, if it's finished to start, we just have this one here. We transfer like what we have done here. Zero, we just transfer it here. And here we have start to start plus three. We need to consider this relationship and this lag. So what to do? We just simply add zero plus three. It would be three here. Three plus 11 it would be 14. This is how simple it is. We don't use this one, seven plus three is 10, no, because it's linked from the starting point. So we add three to the early start of activity A because they are just um, linked from the start and the start point. So we just simply, we add zero plus three, we'll have three. That's why I strongly recommend to draw the activities in this way. In this way, you use this way in order to draw this or to draw the network diagram in order it will be easier for you to do the calculation. But if you start having something like this, if you and let's say that uh, if you you might also see others that just you might see Pardon. You might also see some other just draw it something like this and they write start start plus three. They will start confusing. Do I need to use this value? Or I need to use this value. So that's why I strongly recommend to draw it in the in the way I just show you here. 
but that one is still correct but it's a little bit confusing and you may have some mistakes so if you draw it in this way you just 0 plus 3 it would be 3 3 plus 11 14 uh, let's come here how many options do we have we have only one hit which so we just simply transfer 14 here 14 plus 8 it would be 22 if we come here for activity F, how many options we have only one option is coming from here so when we go forward we use plus value adding so this one will if we calculate here it's finished to start from the finish point and the starting point and we need to consider this lag so it will be seven seven a plus y because we are moving we are moving forward a plus what a plus minus two minus one so it will be seven minus one six so it will have six here six plus five eleven here how many of oh, we come here pairs how many options we have only one options from this one so we can just directly transfer the five here here how many options do we have we have two options so in g we have two options it means that we have two value we need to calculate from here and we need to calculate from here and select the uh, the the highest value so from this one it's seven finish to start so it be it can be either transfer the seven from here or transfer the 10 from here so which one we select we select the highest which is 10 10 plus 8 it would be 18 here 5 plus 9 it would be 14 what else here we come here how many options do we have we have two options coming to activity i because we look on the head of head comings to the box that we are calculating the earliest time for it so activity i we have two heads coming to this one so what we need to do we need to calculate for both and select the highest value if we come here this one is linked from the finish and the finish point so it will be 22 plus 2 or plus plus 2 it will be 24 so the first option here is 24 and 24 minus 4 20 so 20 and 24 is the first option that coming from this direction from this direction it will be only finished to start from here so we just need to transfer the 11 and 11 plus 4 would be 15 so we have 20 14 options and we have 11 and 15 option which one we select we will go with the highest which is 20 and 24 or you just compare one of them you can uh, 20 and 11 which one we select we select the first option 20 and 20 plus 4 24 so if you go for activity j how many options do we have we have two options because we are looking on the head because we are moving forwards so how many options two options the first one is coming finish to finish plus three from activity g and the, the second one coming from activity e finish to start plus two so two heads two options we calculate for both uh, 18 plus 3 it would be 21 21 minus uh, 12 9 this is the first option it 9 21 from this direction from this direction it will be finished to start plus 2 so it will be 14 plus 2 16 here 16 plus 12 uh, 28 28 so we have 16 and 9 uh, or 28 and 21 so which one we select we will go for the this one is the highest value then we go here how many options for k only one option so we can just transfer the 14 here directly we can just 14 here directly 14 plus 3 17 so all this one is done we're coming here how many options we have three options one come from here one coming from here and one coming from here so it's all of them are finished to start so we can either transfer 24 or transfer 28 or transfer 17 so among this one so it will be like either 24 so it would be either 24 or 28 or 17 so among these three options we go with the highest 28 28 plus 0 28 so this is how we calculate the earliest time we move forward plus plus we look on the head to know how many options then we uh, calculate for all of them and select the highest value 
So in the following session, we'll start calculating the latest time when we go backwards.